Modern Warfare 2's reveal has come and passed, and man, I'm excited for how much there still is to break down in regards to the game and the upcoming content. Yesterday, we talked about the new in-depth gunsmith system, and honestly, I can't thank you guys enough. That was the fastest we've had a video hit 100,000 views in as long as I can remember, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So thank you for that, but today I wanted to stay on the topic of weaponry, but instead of breaking down any systems or anything like that, I wanted to instead take a look at the full list of weaponry that we've seen already throughout publicly showcased gameplay missions, trailers, and as well, some not so publicly displayed displayed stuff, like the additional glimpses at four campaign missions that myself and other creators and press saw in a pre-reveal briefing with Infinity Ward. So as we go along, drop your thoughts down below. Do you have any high hopes for any specific weapon to be in the game? Are you liking the already large offering of weapons we know of so far? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. And if you're new to the channel, do be sure that subscribe button to stay there with all things Modern Warfare 2. Like I've said since the reveal, this is only the tip of the iceberg. There's still so much more I want to discuss with you guys here. So if you're at all interested in staying up to date with everything Modern Warfare 2, hit the subscribe button. And finally, in celebration of Modern Warfare 2's reveal, my friends at G Fuel have bumped up code Espresso to 30% off this weekend, so if you're wanting to try anything out for the very first time, grab a restock. Now is as best a time as any. Personally, I'd recommend Pink Trip, the new Morbius Nectarine flavor, Hype Sauce, Strawberry Banana, and Starfruit. Those are probably my top five right now. Can't go wrong with any of those, but link in the description below if you guys are at all interested. But let's talk about weapons. Firstly, a few housekeeping items. Number one, these weapons that we're going to be talking about today are base weapons and seemingly variants as well. We talked about yesterday, there's that new unlock tree that looks to kind of change how we see weapons unlocked, getting maybe even more in-depth with the amount of specific weapons we can have, but maybe them all coming back down to less numbers of base weapons. Kind of an umbrella here of that. So we absolutely could be seeing a ton of weapons get simplified into that smaller sort of subset, but right now we just don't know. Number two, naming is very likely to be changed, but properties and identities, not so much. So what I mean by that is that when we take a look at a weapon that may be from a specific manufacturer, we might not have the exact name that manufacturer gives it. Instead, it could be something generic, could be something that is a deviation, we just don't quite know yet. That's something that's absolutely up in the air, and we've also seen certain instances of in-universal lore weapon manufacturers already popping their heads up, like XRK was in Modern Warfare 2019, but we'll mention that in just a bit when we get there. And finally, number three, this video enlisted some help. I had a whole list of weapons from Tuesday when our pre-reveal briefing happened with Infinity Ward, dozens of weapons noted through the rough cut of the trailer that we saw, as well as five campaign missions, but naturally, with so much in each frame to digest and a full mission of Dark Water now publicly available and the reveal trailer out there in full form, I had help combining my list of weapons that I had seen already, plus also those that I missed filled out by my friend Buff Nerd Gaming. Another creator here, up and coming, highly recommend you check out his channel. He filled out this list, and for that, I'm tremendously thankful that we can bring you a more accurate and, again, fuller list here at that. Highly, highly recommend checking out his channel, link in the description below. He knows his stuff, so if you're a fan of firearms and COD weaponry, go show him some love and subscribe over there as well. Big thanks to him once again for collaborating on this, but let's start out with some gameplay. Now, for the mission of Dark Water, we end up seeing a hefty number of weapons from not only just what you use, but also what some of your teammates and enemies end up using as well. Firstly, we see that vector that we end up having from the very beginning. That, or maybe the Fennec for Modern Warfare 2019's namesake in that correlation there. We also see the MK14 EBR. We see variations of the HK33 and 53. In this mission in particular, we see a ton of different MP5 variants, mostly the MP5 SD and MP5K, but there's a couple that do pop their heads up. We saw the P90, we saw the AK variants of the AK AK-105 and the AK-74U, and that was also one that was pointed out by Buff that it's possibly the AKS-74U. So again, slight deviation, slight variation here on that weaponry. We see the Benelli M4 as a shotgun, we see the M4 URGI, and we see the Ares 16 or Fight Light MCR. That one being a belt-fed M4, which is something that actually is tying in perfectly to that weapon unlock tree that we had mentioned yesterday. This one, I don't think that I ever would have caught it for one, but going further in depth, the Fight Light was actually the name given to that LMG for the M4 weapon tree that we mentioned yesterday, so kind of perfect that it ties back in here with that one, specifically highlighted and specifically named. We also saw in Dark Water, also in the reveal trailer, is the Scar L or MK16 variation of it. So, there's quite a few weapons here that have already been publicly available in that 4K gameplay put up by Call of Duty of the campaign, so definitely a nice start, but there's also a ton of other weapons that didn't quite make it publicly out of gameplay that we saw on the back end of other missions. For the mission of Night War, that was the mission that we saw the most of here. Other stuff was just kind of glimpses and brief gameplay demos of, but we saw a decent bit of this Night War mission, where you end up having to rescue some of Bravo team after their helicopter is taken down by an AQ ambush, and in this, you, as the playable character of Soap have the Mike 24 or M24. It ended up just showcasing the dev name on the HUD, so a semi-auto marksman 
rifle there. The Kilo looks to be returning. That was Ghost's weapon of choice here in that game. We also saw the LMP, though while it's named this, it's essentially the MP7 model. Could be a variation or could just be the base name actually in game again whereas we have another upcoming reference of it in the reveal trailer it could just be something that what we think we know of it and we see in the reveal trailer it could just be named the lmp all throughout the game we see the lock 56 as well as a lock 16 variant though these come back again to that naming of the manufacturer in game the modern warfare universal lore manufacturer not a real one the lockman mere manufacturing company in modern warfare 2019 we had that manufacturer xrk who was responsible again in universal lore not real life this fictional world for creating and manufacturing the weapons like the ram 7 model 680 jack 12 and x16 but also there are craftsmen for a ton of different weapon blueprints as well as attachments that's kind of what's happening here with this one so the lock 56 and 16 could be weapons that we do see irl but these were never picked up they were just ones that you could walk over and you'd end up seeing on your hud as pickup icons we ended up seeing the k block which was just your pp bison by comparison to modern warfare 2019 we had the bryson 500 another shotgun which i can't quite make out from the hud icon the player never picked it up i don't know if it'd be the same as that benelli m4 that we mentioned or if it's a different pump shotgun Based off of a reference of it in gameplay that we are shown a little bit later, it kind of looks like it isn't the same as the Benelli M4, though it is hard to tell. It was in a dark corridor and wasn't really the most high quality version that we could see to compare. We ended up also seeing the M16 hybrid in this mission, which this showcases again, even though that is a weapon tree variant, it seems like if it is something that's recognized by the weapon tree, that it will show up in game as such, as a sort of different named weapon here at this, assuming it's at least one to one from MP to campaign. We saw another shotgun of the expedite 12 that comes back to the shotguns again it was the same icon as that bryson 500 which could be a variation of the benelli m4 both could be a variation of the benelli m4 or all three could be entirely different weapons we just have placeholder icons for the pickup of these as well we ended up seeing the pila and the rpg as launchers to round out that mission now another mission that we ended up seeing one that was actually seen in the reveal trailer where price and gaz are sort of in those wetsuits sneaking around this mission called wet work we saw the combat knife is coming back we have throwing knives as well that likely being an equipment not necessarily your actual weapon but wanted to throw that out there because it was a lethal that was showcased specifically in this mission with a 1911 the ak-47 and again the bryson 500 coming back to it another mission called tower we did not get much here with this it just showcased a little bit about some of the grappling and descending mechanics that we'll end up seeing in campaign but it looked like the honey badger the hud was not available here for this and whenever he swapped to repel down the building we didn't see any name with that weapon so unfortunately don't know for sure if that's the case though we will mention in just a second the honey badger is in the reveal trailer then finally in the mission convoy we have the glock 17 or as we're accustomed to in modern warfare 2019 the x16 and the ak-47 now as for the reveal trailer rounding out everything we do have that glock 17 the honey badger the mp7 the aug a3 the sig mpx the m24 again coming back to that campaign mission the dd m4 v7 likely a variant of that m4 the m13 the uzi and the acr seem to be seen but it also is something that could be the scar l because they do look pretty similar and especially in the quick little glance that we end up getting it might be hard to distinguish which one is which. So the ACR still in question for sure. The SCAR L and SCAR variants are definitely seen here in the gameplay and the trailers that we've seen already. So it really just comes down to if both are there. But right now, that is the weapons that we have here on offer for Modern Warfare 2, and quite a hefty number of them at that right up front. That's something that I absolutely love. But honestly, when I think about it, this is just through a very small, minute offering of the game itself. So when we take a look at the base weapons, presumably a couple of dozen more, and then all the variations you can make on top of it, this year looks pretty good for those that want a specific weapon or something a little bit more unique and custom tailored to them. There seems to be an absolute insane amount of weaponry coming overall between base and variations so i'm excited for what this year has on offer that said that's where we're gonna wrap it up that's every weapon that we know of so far so let me know your thoughts down below are you liking the list that we have already again is there anything you're holding out hope does make it to the final game but has not been seen just yet whatever the case drop your thoughts below but if you enjoyed the video do me a favor and drop a like on it and if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing running all things modern warfare 2 we've got so much upcoming still so make sure you don't miss a single thing that said thanks so much for watching my name is espresso i'll see you guys later Take care and peace.